Hi there. Today I'm unboxing an Evolution R210 CMS. It's a mitre saw. And so let's see what's in the packaging. It comes with a three year warranty. Um, I've got a another Evolution uh, mitre saw, so it should be interesting to see how this one fares to that. Okay. See what we have. Just some packaging, just to keep it from getting damaged. Um, okay, the manual, instruction manual. Looks like an Allen key with it. Um, some more foam packaging. Okay, just empty packet. A dust catcher, which is good. And literally that's it. Wow. I'm gonna pull the saw out itself. So my other evolution um, mitre saw, it's the larger one um, with the laser guide and it can do larger planks of wood. So this is, in comparison, much smaller and much more compact. Okay, let's release the catch that's holding the saw down. There you go. It's got a clamp here, obviously to help hold down the wood as you're cutting. Um, let's see what the motion is like for this. Quite a nice solid feel to it. Just to add, I do own another one like this. It's, um, I think it was one by B&Q. Um, and it's had quite um, a battering. So it's quite nice to get another one. Very smooth feel to it. So I can show you the rest of the design. One interesting thing about the Rage one, I had to put the blade on, which was fair enough. Um, but it's quite good, it being in place with this one. Okay, so let me just try adjusting the back as well. Get the, the angled cuts. So you've got the um, degrees there. Oh, if I can show it, yep. And then the locking mechanism at the back. Just there. So, not that much to it, to be honest. Straightforward, like any other general miter saw. Let me get it set up and I'll try cutting a few items, see what we can do with it. Just to see a clearer view of it. Very lightweight, just a highlight. Um, and the blade is multi cutting, so you can cut a number of different sort of materials. So I've just attached a random bit of wood. I'm not going to demonstrate the other pieces because I know other people have actually demonstrated that on YouTube. One of the good things, um, I'm left-handed, so it's um, you can use either hand for it, the way it's been designed, with a big 
leave it there. So let's give it a go, see how smooth the cut comes out. A clean cut, there you go. One thing I didn't like about this, I guess, I don't know if it's an experienced thing, number of mitosaurs I've used, is that when it goes back and it's just off the zero mark, it'd be good if it just sits onto it. Maybe that's just an adjustment thing. But all good. Let me just do a quick cut into MDF to see how the cut turns out. Very nice, very clean cut. Got a bit of architrave, so I'll just chop the um, end off. I think it's been a while since I've had a, a new saw, so it's quite nice seeing such a clean cut. Let's do the adjustment now. Let's try a mitre cut now. So if I place that in there, trim the existing piece off a little bit. That one. Okay, there you go, a very nice clean cut. Not surprising to be honest. So there you go. A good light compact saw doesn't take up too much space um, and the blade being multi-purpose is an extra bonus so there you go thanks for viewing <laughs>